I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hi and welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's so good to be with you today. It is indeed another day that God has given us by His grace. And by His special grace, we will keep on going and we will not stop. My dear friend, we serve a God who speaks and He lives. We serve a God who loves us. We serve a God who has never left us. And no matter how it might look in the physical, in the spiritual, God is with you. It doesn't matter what it may look like in this physical realm because we walk by faith and not by sight. And I want to encourage you that God is with you and He will never leave you. Today I want to share with you and the title of my message is You Have Greatness in You. Walk in that authority. I've spoken about this before but I was led by the Holy Spirit to speak about it again concerning this time period that we are in and just to encourage you that you have the divine power and the divine ability of Christ in you. If you are of His, if you have given your life to Jesus, our Lord and Savior is great, He is magnificent, He is wonderful, and He is with us. He has made a way where there seems to be no way. He is the healer, He is the deliverer, He is the one who makes a way where there seems to be no way. And today we give Him all the glory for all that He's done, all that He's doing right now, and all that He's going to do in the future in your life. My dear friend, the Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, it says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. That is the first scripture that shows us that as we are walking and living this life as ambassadors of heaven, as born again believers, as people who are not of this world, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are born of water and of spirit. It shows us that Christ's divine ability is in us and operating through us and enabling us to do what we need to do. I've said it and I'm going to say it again. You have greatness in you. Walk in that greatness. Walk in that authority. The Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, all the way to verse 12, it says, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Beloved, I urge you as exiles to abstain from passions of the flesh, which wage war against your soul. Keep your conduct amongst the Gentiles honorable, so that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation. My dear friend, It is so important that we understand that we are a chosen generation. We are a chosen generation and a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of God's own possession. As we are born again, we are engrafted into the tree, the tree of life. We are engrafted into the tree of Christ. We are engrafted into God's big family. And it's so important that we as born again believers understand this. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 3 from verse 14 to verse 15, it says, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let those of us who are mature think this way. And if anything you think otherwise, God will reveal that also to you. Now, this reveals something that we as born again believers in the power of Christ must press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call in Christ. It is so important. If you have a small business, my dear friend, and God has called you to run that business, God has instructed you to start that business and to run it. Begin to imagine it growing. Begin to see it growing in faith. Begin to see it growing and thank God for it. If you are just starting off in your career, begin to see yourself going far. Begin to see yourself going far and making a massive impact for Jesus, even in the area of that career. If you are in ministry and you're just starting out, begin to see that ministry growing and reaching out and touching many people's lives. Jesus has divine power and through this power, He enables us 
to overcome the world, to overcome all trials that we may face, and also to empower us to run this race so that we may run and we may run well. I encourage you, my dear friend, run the race and do not give up. Walk in that divine authority and the divine power that God has given you. You are not a victim, you are a victor. You have divine capability in you. You have greatness in you. The Bible says our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. We have the greatest spirit in the whole universe within us. God is with us, surrounding us. We have Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Emmanuel, God with us. He is with us and He is there empowering us and delivering us. My dear friend, whatever you might be facing right now, I want to encourage you, you will come out shining on the other side. Whatever battles and trials and attacks you've gone through, they might have made you feel bad and less of a human being or less than others or not good enough or not worthy. But I want to encourage you, walk tall. You will win. The victory is guaranteed in Christ. And stay with Christ. Walk and run this race. No matter what may happen, do not give up, do not give in. But follow Jesus. His way is the best way. His way is the way that leads to life. In saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Take yourself in a device wherever you're watching me from. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. As your praises go up, God will bless you. In saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Praise Him in your own words and just mean it from your heart. Father, You are our God and we just praise You. We thank You for Your grace. We thank You for Your mercy. We thank You, Lord, for Your love. We thank You, Lord, for another day that You've given us. It is another day and it is in no way a day that we are limited. But You have given us another opportunity to press on and to press in and to receive from You. You've given us another opportunity to live to the fullest and to receive the prize that You have available for us in Christ. You've given us another opportunity to press on and make a divine impact worldwide. You've given us another opportunity to be a, a world changer, a, a world impactor, a fire starter with a revival fire. We thank you and we give you praise for all that you do for us, past, present and future. And we also thank you for the small things that you do. We don't overlook those. Father, we're not a generation seeking you just for what we can get from you quickly. But we are a generation who loves you and we want to seek your presence. We want more of you. We believe what it says in your word where it says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things shall be added unto you. So we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness in Christ. Knowing that all these other things shall be added unto us. We give you praise and thank you for today. We thank you for your grace and your divine enablement. That is being released over my dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know like I know as we pray, God is going to bless you. Now, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important is welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and help me. Help me to walk and run this race. Enable me. Activate the grace within me, so that I can walk in greatness in the area that I've been called in. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request, click submit. It's going to come through to me and I'm going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Release the divine ability and the divine grace over my dear friend to do what you have called them to do. Whatever area that might be, whatever sphere that might be, whether it's in ministry or whether it's running a business or whether it's in a certain career, or whether it's in humanitarian outreach, whatever it might be. Father, Release the grace so that my dear friend will be able to walk in the fullness of what you've called them to do. Father, I thank you for your grace and your divine enablement that is released today. And all chains that are holding my dear friend back are breaking right now. I thank you for your divine favor. And I thank you that where other people failed to succeed, my dear friend will pass and succeed and go through without any hassles. 
I thank you that wherever there's any blockage and limitation, those blockages and limitations are being broken right now. I thank you that wherever there's any drought, wherever there's any situations where it's difficult to make it, my dear friend will make it regardless of that. And even as this is the year that will make it against all odds, I thank you that my dear friend will come out on the other side successful and victorious. And my dear friend will make it against all odds. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, if my dear friend is trusting you for a miracle today, do a miracle, do a sign, do a wonder. Touch and change my dear friend's life. And take my dear friend to a greater level, greater dimension in you. I pray the same for my dear friend's family and my dear friend's children. And all the loved ones around my dear friend. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, I bless you. May you succeed in all that you do. May God answer the deep questions of your heart. And may God give you direction in the area that you must go. May God give you the divine ability and the strength in order to accomplish what he has called you to do. And may goodness and mercy and the favor of God follow you all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Until tomorrow, from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. And saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.